Well, I'm back, and I suppose it's time to get into the proper chapter one, because that was just the prologue last time. After all... Now it's time to save the burning village. Hey, leave me to read the title card, okay? I don't need your help, Naruto. I can read. Unlike a certain, you know, president of ours. You figured out a plan for defeating the Shirogane clan? We don't have anything concrete yet. We're still working out our strategy. For now, just prevent the clan from collecting all of the spirit orbs. On top of that, I want you to find the last spirit orb before they do. In order to ensure they can't revive the Master Puppet, correct? Yes. Also, regarding this particular mission... A fire has erupted in Kisaragi Village, east of our land. There have been numerous reports of puppet sightings near the village. I think we can safely assume that the clan set the village ablaze to cover their search for the spirit orb. Ugh, those jerks! They're really asking for it this time! Worry about saving the villagers first, you dummy! Like Sakura says, protecting the villagers is the priority. After you've rescued them, find the Shirogani clan and strike them down. Got it. Let's go, you guys. Right! We're on our way, ma'am. Man, Yukashi. I mean, I know Sakura ain't the sexiest girl around, but she doesn't have to refer to her as a guy. I mean, come on. Yeah, I know in the context that's it's meant to be inclusive, but, you know, there are better picks for that. Plus, you know, if I don't nitpick things, what else am I going to do with Kakashi's low amount of title he's actually got there? It wasn't much to work with, okay? I mean, at least it's not as bad as Misty, because Misty's definitely not a girl. Because if she was a girl, Brock would definitely have hit on her at some point. He hits on everyone else, basically. <sighs> Except Misty. And that's why Misty's not a girl. Brock knows. Wow, they really went to town on this place. Kashi-sensei, I was able to evacuate everyone. Well, good. There isn't anyone left over here, either! Good. So all the villagers have gotten out. Only one thing left to do. Come on out! Don't even think of running now! <laughs> Let's go, you two. Bandits! Yeah! Now, let's see. Who should we play as? Well, obviously, we shouldn't play as Naruto, because, you know, we're going to be using him a lot, so obviously, we should switch out. Okay. Eat my fist. Eat ground. Ground pound. It's unbeatable. Okay, get back here. So far as I'm gonna have to use Naruto to break that freaking um, stuff on top, aren't I? The uh, big water pile up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I have to use Naruto's. Boo! Boo! I don't think I can do anything there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Yep, let's use uh, the button to jump onto the roof. <sighs> well, now. Only you could prevent, you know, forest fires. Watch carefully. Okay. That'd do it. I love how just punching it in the back causes water to burst out the front, though. <laughs> like, that's not how anything works, game. Obviously, they intended for you to use the Rot Sengen when you did that, so it'd make a little bit more sense, maybe. Okay. Um, we're gonna go back this way. There's some loot I missed. Eh, uh, that's not gonna help out much, but there should be um, some stuff back this way. Yeah. 
I don't really need that, but I'll take it anyway, because it's there, okay? And when you play games like this, you just get the habit of collecting things, just in case you need them. Like, you never know if you're going to need them, but you might as well just collect them. I mean, why not? I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Okay, let's just break this open. I'll take that with me. Yeah, I can't really do anything here. It's fine. Yep, back to work. I know, I really should have bugged my brother or someone to join me. Okay, we're gonna have to jump back on the building again. And they got bear traps laid out? I mean, come on. Who does that? Like, someone, get me a bear trap! Strictly necessary, you know? I love how it switches the Naruto for that jump. Regardless of who I actually got, you know, out. Darn it! And now the multi shurikens are in the trap. I don't even know how it got me. I thought I stayed far enough away, but the game's like, no, 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 you got just close enough. By one pixel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ground pound. After all, greatest technique ever. Why are you guys jumping into the village? And why are you guys hanging out down in a well? Who does that? I mean, seriously. Like someone's pet cat or something? There's only cats who usually don't have to jump down a well. And dogs. Because they're following a stupid cat. Ugh. Well, no. Let's see. How am I gonna get rid of that fire? Is there uh, something I can bust over here? Oh, we got gun. <sighs> Expect with shadow clones again. Darn you, game! Stop making me have to use shadow clones to investigate rooftops. So lame. Like I don't want to stop and do this. Like, you think if I got close to the right area, they'd be like, nope, that's good enough. They're like, no, 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 you need to do it with this character. Okay. Boom. Fine. Shockwave. Shockwaves fix all that ails me. Oof. Well, oh, that's taken care of. I guess we should go and inspect and see what else we can do around here. You know, like, fall the, the sign. Ah, oh, I can't jump over that. I suppose that would make it too easy, right? Yeah, I'm gonna break that sign. Was there a reason to break it? No. If I had reason, no reason not to. Now, let's see. Yeah, I know, we gotta go this way. Nah. Yeah, I think there's something important there. Okay, let's just launch you. Yeah, you jumped over my head. So you're screwed. Well, that was terrible. Who taught you how to jump? I mean, seriously. A bit better there. Come on. Ugh. Yeah, she's got such an awkward punch animation, you know? Bizarre. How she throws punches there, you know? Like, who taught you to punch like that? Like, Naruto's are just much more natural when it comes to punching things. Uh, whatever. We got almost no money, but we did find some antlers we can sell, so there's that, I guess. Yay for antlers! Yeah, we can't use them to make mess in here. Who are you guys? A bandit, huh? Why have you attacked the village? What do you care? 
Well, actually, we're on a mission to figure that out. Hmm. You're not connected to the Shirogane clan, are you? Uh, how did you know? Aha! So you guys are connected! Fess up already! Uh. Hold it! You just don't know when to quit, do you? Well, I wasn't expecting him to come clean easily. But what was the point of running away? They're ninjas. They'll catch you. Finally gotcha! There's no escaping now! Hey, wait! <laughs> ah, well, no. Yes, with palm strikes. There was supposed to be a spirit orb in this village. But all my efforts were for nothing. Then he runs away. The bandit's gone too. They got us. Man, they're asking for it! Just wait! Sensei, there's something that's bothering me. The Shirogane clan used puppets to launch their first attack, right? So why would they use bandits for this one? Good point. We should report back and begin analyzing what's happened. But first, why don't we help the village's firefighting efforts? <laughs> I thought it'd be obvious. Obviously they're running out of robots, okay? Like, if you smash a bunch of freaking robots, of course they're not going to have as many. It's not a big surprise. Like, their robots fall apart faster than crackers. They disappear faster than, you know, Oreos. Like, they're just gone, you know? It's like Ninja Pizza. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's an infinite army of Kakashis. Surrender now, or prepare to fight. <laughs> I know this is completely ridiculous. I don't care. <laughs> uh, I'll do it anyway. That's how I worked out the survival battles, too. Infinite army, go! It worked fairly well until I got up to, like, Itachi and Kasame. <laughs> well, now, let's go visit the Hokage and report that we saved the village, but didn't bring anyone back. Well, tough breaks. I'm sure we'll catch a bandit next time. They can't keep getting away for forever. A group of bandits, huh? Yes, that is rather strange. Here's my take on the situation. They had already fought several other nations before the Land of Fire. And they lost even more puppets by attacking the Hidden Leaf Village. Yeah, because I busted up so many of them! <laughs> Don't be so full of yourself! So the reason they teamed up with this group of bandits was to compensate for their losses while they worked to create new puppets. Maybe. Well done. This is a very useful piece of information. If it's human opponents we're dealing with, we can form a plan. I'll call a meeting later. Until then, you're all on standby. What? Ah, uh, that's so lame! You have something you'd like to say? S sorry ma'am. Come on, Naruto, let's go! Before you meet Mr. Stapler again. <laughs> Uh, I swear. Ah, oh, come on. Battle on the ship? Ships suck, man. Ships are always the worst. Chris, you always gotta worry about sea creatures when you're on a boat. I don't think we really have to worry about that in this game, though, because they can't be that creative. But really, 
Like, where's my creature from the Black Lagoon attacking me from the sea or whatever? Or lake. I don't know. I need a lake monster besides Champ right now. Or Nessie. I'm drawing a blank. I don't, I don't spend too much time fighting on lakes. I tend to avoid them if I can, RPGs, because I know water monsters will appear, you know, and try and take my boat out from underneath me. It sucks. Till next time, then. See ya.